Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel for one of my favorite videos to do. This is the official walkthrough of the brand new Erin Condren Life Planner launches, and I cannot wait to dive into these bad boys with you guys today. If you're seeing this on the day that the video goes up, happy launch day, EC Insiders. If you are a member of the EC Insiders group, which you should be, it is completely free, so why aren't you? Today is launch day for you. If you are not an EC Insider, your launch day is tomorrow the 26th. But either way, you are here because you are interested in getting a sneak peek or actually a full, complete walkthrough of the life planners that I have in front of me. In today's video, I will be featuring specifically the Harmony Colorful Vertical Planner and the A5 Color Blends Daily Duo Planner. Those are the two planners that I have for you today. We're gonna compare, we're gonna contrast, we're gonna do a complete walkthrough, it's gonna be a great time. And then at the end, I'm going to show you more in depth some of the accessories that I also got in this launch. I did get all of this for free in a PR package. Shout out to the amazing team at Erin Condren for including me in their launch for, gosh, a handful of years now. It is one of my favorite things to be a part of, so thank you. I will have everything linked down below to the best of my ability. The links are affiliate links, which means I do get a little bit of a kickback if you decide to make purchases through my links. Thank you in advance for your support if you choose to do so. So, Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in to this bad boy right here. First, we are going to take a look at the vertical planner. This is your normal seven by nine life planner, the size that we currently regularly know as the life planner. This is what size this is. The Harmony theme, I think is absolutely beautiful. This reminds me of scrapbooking, and I used to scrapbook. I don't know if you guys knew this about me, but I used to be way into scrapbooking. I don't do it anymore, but the concept still makes me very, very happy. So I actually love how perfectly imperfect this is. Like, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful, it's flawless in my opinion, but clearly it's not meant to be like, like, symmetrical or anything. I just think it's absolutely beautiful. And then their little message, start now, not tomorrow. What's not to love about that? So I don't have a vertical planner to, to compare this to because I haven't done vertical planning in I think two or three years now. Ever since the launch of the Daily Duo, I went with the Daily Duo. And so when I was presented the opportunity to get a vertical planner, at first I was like, oh, is this what I really want? But the second I had it back in my hands, I actually got really excited by the idea of doing vertical planning again this year. And so I'm very excited to integrate the vertical planner into my life with the Daily Duo because I do love the Daily Duo planning as well. As per usual, we have beautiful interchangeable covers that you can do wet, or technically you could do dry on here too, dry erase, but you can do wet erase markers on here if you want it to stay put. And we have the vellum sheet with the theme of the year, vertical layout life planner, this is my life proud to say made in the USA. Look at how pretty. It's just so pretty. I say this in all of my Erin Condren launch videos, but this company to me is literally Lisa Frank for adults, and I love Lisa Frank. So this just makes my heart giddy with happiness, and that is not an exaggeration. The very best plans emerge when different perspectives meet. I've found that their quotes seem to be a little bit more profound this year. Anyway, first we're starting up with the year at a glance for July 2022 through December 2023. So I have the 18 month weekly vertical planner in front of me. So the year at a glance covers the entire amount of time that the planner covers. A goal is a dream with a deadline. This is where you can break things up, write down goals, things you want to achieve, the possibilities with this little section are pretty endless, actually. And then we hop right into July. The colors are the same as they have been. I didn't notice any extreme change or anything. They seem to be using the same color palette, just with the new theme. So we have our monthly layout. And then after the monthly layout, so the monthly layout is attached to the tab, right? If you pull the tab, and you turn the page, you're gonna get to the monthly layout, which I really enjoy. Then when you flip the next page, you get one blank page, and then you have the little monthly dashboard, which is the same as it has been. There are no labels or anything, so you can pick and choose what to do with these four sections. 
And then we have the vertical layout. As you can tell, I wrote post-it notes. Because I don't have a vertical planner to uh, compare this to, I actually went ahead and wrote out the measurements of the boxes for the people that have vertical planner stickers that they want to use. I did go back to some of my old planner sticker stash and the ones that were designed for the vertical planner that I had a handful of years ago still fit in these boxes if that information is helpful to you. Without the header, these boxes are five inches tall and 3.75 inches wide. The header is 3.75 inches wide and half an inch thick. So that's the information about the measurements of the boxes. As you can see, the months, if they transition midweek, the colors go with the transition, which is a detail that I really truly enjoy. I feel like Compared to my very first life planner, I feel like this has come such a long way and I just love the colorful simplicity of all of this, right? Like it's still colorful, it's still bright and bold, but I also don't feel like it's overwhelming with detail. Like the only color is the little bit of a gradient here, a little bit right here, and then the word itself. Other than that, it's pretty simplistic and I don't hate that. I think it's great. So we cruise on through the month, right? We have, we actually conveniently have a Sunday finish for the month of July. And then on the last page of the month, as it is attached to the next tab, you have a blank sheet. And then with the next tab, you have August. And so it continues on. The format will be the same with the blank page and the monthly dashboard with the little details. And then we're off to the races again with the beautiful yellow for August. Everything remains the same. So I'm just going to flip through everything here for you so you can get a glimpse at everything that's happening in this planner. And then once we get to some new content, I will slow things down so we can talk about it. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead to December of 2023 because the other months are going to look identical. It's just the dates are going to fall based on what day they are for 2023. So we got December up in here. And then we hit, there's December 31st is on a Sunday in 2023. So after we finish out the planner, we have a couple pages of notes. We have a blank page and then the actual notes tab here gives you five note pages front and back. Some additional information here. We have heritage and awareness observances. So you can choose whether or not you want to write these particular observances into your planner. We have a let's keep in touch page with two types of contact information for each contact. And then you have a look at 2024 in case you really like to plan ahead and want to jot down a couple of things that you know are happening in any of those given months. And that is the vertical planner. And then of course, in the back here, we have the ever so important sticker pages, right? So these are of course the harmony themed stickers. We got some habit trackers. I'm really excited by the idea of being able to utilize the habit trackers again because I have a vertical planner. I felt very strange about using a weekly habit tracker when I literally flipped pages of the Daily Duo every day. But now I will be able to put a habit tracker somewhere on, I like to put them like on the sidebars here and I can check it off as the week progresses, which I really like. So I'm excited to have access to those back. We have the birthday stickers with a little bit of an upgrade with our new theme. Then of course we have the little banners. My poor banner, I, there's supposed to be a rose gold stripe right down through here. It apparently missed it, but that is what's going to be in there. And then we have the keep it together folder, which I think is freaking gorgeous. Like, oh, it is so heavy duty. Like it's a great, 
Great heavy duty material, vibrant colors, beautiful chunks of gold foil. I am here for it. I love that there's kind of like a warm side and a cool side. Warm side, cool side. Anyway, and then of course, every planner comes with a perpetual calendar. And then we have the back cover. And there she is. She's gorgeous. She's thick. She's colorful. And I cannot wait to dive into vertical planning again. So again, this was the Harmony Colorful Vertical Planner 18 month. Now, let's dive into this one. As you will see, this guy's a little bit smaller than the planner I just had here. This is the A5 size coiled daily duo. And I am really excited by this. When we were reached out to, to be part of the launch team, they actually had four separate packages already curated and put together. So we got to choose a pre-curated package. So under normal circumstances, if I got to choose exactly what planner I would have gotten to pick, I probably would have picked the seven by nine daily duo, which is what I've normally been using. But because I wanted the very specific themes, I wanted the harmony theme and I wanted the color blends theme specifically, this was the package that I could choose from. So I was gifted the A5 size. And at first I was like, oh, I don't know how I feel about it. But actually, I'm kind of excited about it because it's everything I love about the Daily Duo, just a little bit smaller. And I think that that's great. Um, so this is, like I said, the color blends theme, um, which I really enjoy. I love the bright colors in the gradient. I think it's so pretty. So here's what this little guy looks like. Again, this is A5 size. Each book, I have two books here because for the Daily Duo, each book covers a six month period of time. So I actually grabbed the rest of 2022 first. So I, this will be July through December of 2022. And this other one will be January through June of 2023. So you have the same idea with the goal, the goal is a dream with a deadline page here for you to set some goals on. And then the monthly layout of the months that the particular book covers. On the back here, we have a year at a glance for 2023. And then we just dive right in with everything because this is small. I can zoom in a little bit. Again, when you grab the tab and you flip open to the tab page, you get your month at a glance. It is the same layout, just a little smaller. Now, pay attention. I hope that the lighting shows you this detail, but the coloring detail on here is very simple, but exactly what it needs to be. Because color blends is the theme, right? You have this gradient colored theme. If you look at the detail of the headers, in this, throughout this entire planner, you will see the gradient detail. So the color will be based on the primary color for the month, but then there will be a gradient detail throughout the month, which I think is really, really awesome. Awesome attention to detail. So see, for example, here, you've got like the green to the blue to the navy. I love that. So again, you have the blank page and the dashboard, just a little bit smaller, but the same dashboard. And then this is what the Daily Duo looks like. For perspective, for those of you that are Daily Duo people, it's the exact same page, just smaller. I counted, we still have the exact same number of check marks. The proportions are completely the same. Everything is just downsized a little bit to fit the A5 size instead of the seven by nine. That's the only difference. Other than that, the layout itself has remained the same with one very specific change, which I'll get to in a second. Um, so as you can see, we've got Friday the 1st here, beautiful, subtle gradient texture up on the top. What day of the week is this, y'all? Sunday, right? Do you remember last year when I did this video last year and then I was doing a walkthrough and I think I filmed the walkthrough of the, of the planner that I would that I was given first, which ended up having a few errors in it. And one of the errors was that there was a blank page after every Sunday. And I thought it was a brilliant formatting idea, but the real planner that they launched, error-free, took that out. And all year, I have been struggling. I have been struggling. And because if you take this out and you just immediately put Sunday after Monday, whatever day of the week it is changes constantly. So one week Friday will be over here and one week Friday will be over here. So when I'm trying to plan ahead, I can't tell you how many times I have put a sticker or written a plan on the wrong day of the week because I assumed 
where it was going to be based on where in my mind I thought the weak structure should be. Turns out that that error that they made that I preferred, they actually intentionally brought back this year. And I am so excited. Unless, of course, this is also an error, but I don't think they'd make the same mistake twice. So, Sunday, blank page. Monday starts on the left. And we're cruising. And we're going. And we hit Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Blank page. Monday starts on the left every single week. And it is happy. It makes me so happy. Look at that. Monday starts on the left, which means I can continue with my assumption of what day of the week I'm putting a sticker on based on where I know the day is supposed to be. I love that so much. So once we get through the month, Saturday the 30th, Sunday the 31st, blank page, front and back, new month, hello August, where we once again have the month at a glance, the dashboard, again, pay attention to the subtle but awesome gradient detail that is also on the top of every single thing, Monday, and we're on our merry way. Again, I love that this has the color detail, but it's also very, very almost neutral. Like it's very plain. The detail is great, but it's also very plain. So you can make of it whatever you will, which I think is awesome. So just for funsies, let's find a month that doesn't start on a Monday or a Sunday. Let's see. Tuesday, the 30th. So we have Tuesday, the 30th, right? Then we flip. In order to keep the structure the same, it appears, September's gradient is gorgeous, by the way. It appears, yes, in order to keep the structure the same so we can do back to backsies, they put August 31st after the September tab so we can keep everything structured the way it's supposed to be. That's what I wanted to check on. And on and on it goes. So let's just flip through the rest of these colors. We, of course, have an orange gradient in October. That's what the days look like. Oh, I love the transition. I love the detail that they keep the color of the month until the very day that the month starts. I just, that is a little detail that makes me just so happy. And we have November here. Look at that, it's so pretty. Here's November 1st. Saturday, Sunday, just to make sure it's not a fluke, check it out. Here's another Sunday with a blank page and a Monday that starts on the left. It makes me so, so incredibly happy. Look at this. And then December, we have a subtle green. My, my, I'm so sad about this. I shouldn't be so sad about the one page, but it got crinkled and makes me sad. We have like a forest green to lime green gradient for December. Love it. Love it. This year, you guys, Christmas falls on a weekend. How amazing is that? It's so good. It's just so pretty. I'm so excited. I can't even begin to tell you. And then, let's see. So we have Saturday the 31st, New Year's Eve right here. Then we have one page for notes, one and two thirds pages for notes. And then we have just a few heritage and awareness observances that they have. So the longer list is in the bigger notebook. And then we have the color blend theme stickers. Now, instead of four pages, there are only two pages of stickers in the little A5. So we have these guys, and then we have A5 sized little flags and stuff for us to fill in. And then we have a little keep it together folder up in here. And that's it. That's what that one looks like. Look at, again, the gradient. Oh, it's just so pretty. It's just so pretty, I can't handle it. Let's take a look at the second book here. If you get the Daily Duo that starts in July, this will be the second book you get, the first half of 2022, or 2023, rather. Everything is gonna be the same. The colors are just gonna be a little bit different. So we have January, and I mean, 
from the second half of the year. Obviously, the colors will be different based on the month. Here is a sneaky peek at one of the accessories that I put in here. I typically put these dashboards in the seven by nine things, but I did snap this in if you saw my other video to see if it would in fact fit in the Daily Duo, and it does. It takes up the entire length of the Daily Duo, but it does work. This is the Color Blends Snap-In Dashboard. We have priorities to do without check marks or anything, and then we have a week layout if you want to put meal plans, appointments, things you got to remember, things like that. Um, just as a look, here is the Harmony Neutral version of that dashboard. This dashboard actually does have check marks. That is not something I noticed in my first video, my unboxing video. So I prefer things to have check boxes just because that's how I roll. And then on the back, it also has the days of the week. So here's February. Here's March in this beautiful mint green gradient. Let's flip over here. We're just doing the quick speed through version. We've got April. Beautiful. I love, the more I'm flipping through, the more I'm really digging this compact size. I like the idea of if I'm using a bigger purse, it won't feel quite as um, intrusive for me to throw my planner in my bag. I haven't carried my planner with me for years because they've started to feel so big. And this is a great way to combat that if you just need something that's just a little bit smaller and more travel friendly. Perfect. Here's May. Here's June. And June is the last one. The June gradient is super, super subtle. The camera might not even pick it up. Still going here, still going here. And then the same thing happens Thursday, Friday, Saturday. They give you the first just because they can. They want to complete the week for you. And then we have the note page of one and one third the heritage and awarenesses. And then the same stickers as in the other book. So that is the A5 Color Blends Daily Duo. They, of course, all of the planners come with this snap-in um, ruler. I, you didn't even see it in the first planner because I removed it as soon as I unboxed it. I have such a collection of these that I don't even really keep these anymore, just to be completely honest with you. Um, but they're really great if you have no other bookmarks or anything and you want a bookmark. I personally have some paper clips or some other clip-in bookmarks that I use to keep my place in my planners. But that is the color blends. So those are the two planners, the Harmony Vertical and the Daily Duo Color Blends. I should mention that you do get the little packet of goodies when you get a planner. I unboxed the packet of goodies. It gives you this little welcome card. I folded this up because each one contains two 20% off your purchase codes and the codes are unique. So that's why I am hiding them. And then they give you a couple of compliment cards. This one says, follow your passion and ignite your potential. This one says, you are beautiful, capable, and worthy. And this one says, even when it seems impossible, continue to believe in yourself. I actually really like these. I, I, I needed these. These are great. And I like that they actually used the different, um, themes. So this is obviously Harmony Colorful, this is Harmony Neutral, and this is their new In Blooms, which is also beautiful. It's not my style. I definitely am much more the bold style, but for somebody who's the more subdued muted colors, this is gorgeous. Anyway, and then there are two labels, gift labels. I'm really digging like the rainbow holographic on this. This is great. So those come in each of the planners. Now let's dive into some of the other accessories. We have this year's version of the Snap-In Post-it Notes dashboard. You can put this right into your coil. I have two different Snap-In bookmarks. I'm much more likely to use these than the big full one because it's easier to snap these in. There's less things to snap. This is the, of course, Harmony Colorful option, and this is the Color Blends option. Much, much more subtle much more subtle. They do release a ballpoint pen every single year. That is with the theme. It is beautiful. I don't really use ballpoint pens, but it is nice to have like a good, this is a good heavy duty pen. So like if you need to bring a ballpoint pen around, you'll have a nice one to bring around. There is of course a planny pack. And now I observed, correct me if I'm wrong friends, but I feel like the layout of this is a little bit different this year. There's actually like 
first of all, you can open it a lot wider, but there's pockets in here. Did I miss that last year, or is this the year that that's changed? I really, really dig this change. And then, of course, you, you know, you put your stuff, your markers, your stickers, whatever it is you need in here, and you zip it up, and you can attach it to your planner. Beautiful. I just can't get over the vibrancy of the colors of this year's theme, seriously. Another thing that they sent over was the monthly color blends planner. This is meant for the folio system. So it's one of their folio notebooks. This one is very, very basic, but it's month to month, back to back, as you can see. This is the entirety of 2022. Oh, 2022 and 2023, great. So if you need a little calendar to use for something, and because you guys probably know I am a nutrition um, and weight loss channel, I'm a nutrition coach, and one of the things that I talk about is the consistency calendar where you can earn your X if you do whatever it is you need to do that day. Uh, something like this is the perfect vessel for a consistency calendar because everything is just back to back. You can flip through and you can see how you've been doing in terms of consistency. I think this would be a great tool for that. And then the rest of the notebook is just blank pages to take notes. And then they do have their little stickers that fit in the little itty bitty squares of the monthly planner. Beautiful. Oh, it's just so pretty. I know I keep saying it, but I can't get over it, you guys. I also have two new sets of washi. As you can see, one is a harmony themed one and one is a color blends themed one. I took the time to lay them out so you could see them a little bit better. These are the harmony set. So you get like a cooler tone and then something that has the warmer tones built in there. And then this like turquoise graph paper type thing and then the pink with the gold detail this is one piece not two thin pieces and then the color blends one I laid out the entire gradient for you so you could see how it fades and this this pattern on repeat for the entire roll and this one comes with a light pink grid paper looking thing and a turquoise and gold they also have this harmony neutral or at least I have the harmony neutral magnetic dashboard page marker so it's just like the other ones that I showed you but it's a lot smaller much more concise version but it's there if that's more your style and your preferred size we have a new set of dual tip markers which are as you can see right here dual ink markers which means my friends each marker has two complementary shades on it. They have a fine point tip and a chisel highlighter tip, and they are accent colors to one another. So for example, everything is listed right here, right? I took them out and wrote them down for you, but as you can see, it's so like the one pen is that dark red for fine point and the lighter peony color for chiseling. So all of the fine point colors are darker and the highlight colors are lighter complementary to the dark fine point color. Pretty cool, right? Look at that. You can go ahead and pause that if you need to get a closer look. I wrote in the fine point of the black. So this is the point of the fine point, excuse the awful handwriting, but I just wanted to make sure you got an idea of what these looked like. Pretty stinking cool if you ask me. I really like that detail because uh, as somebody who has amassed a collection of Erin Condren dual tip markers, I'm really thankful that they came out with something a little bit different this year. And then of course, we have the new edition of the sticker book. So this is a purchase it separately sticker book that has a bunch of planner stickers in it. And this is of course the harmony theme. So let's just do a flip through here. We've got some deep, just like fun, colorful details. These are, um, what do you call it? Like vellum stickers. They're like the see-through papery ones, well, like washi type stickers, um, which I really like. So we have this page that has silver detailing and it rotates through what kind of detailing it has. So this page has rose gold foil detailing. Big honking boxes. I'm not quite sure what, what to do with like these. What do I do with these, you guys? They're awfully large. Then we have some banners and then some itty bitty banners in silver. Gives you a lot of options. Dinner plans, shopping list, important. 
Okay, I guess it gives you three options. Dinner plans, shopping list, and important. More banners and then rose gold foil detail. Goal, it's a plan reminder. Then we have these round circular ones. Do your thing, dream big, make it happen. You've got this. An entire page of silver foil. I think this is also, yes, this is also like the paper washi type sticker. Some more big honkin' stickers with rose gold detailing. I'm literally trying to figure out like what am I what am I using these ones for, guys? I don't even know. Got some silver detail. I love some additional check boxes. Give me all the checklists. I love checklists. They make me so happy. And then the last page is the same kind of the vellum washi-ish stickers, but with rose gold detailing. So that'll just be a fun way to kind of like add a little bit of decor to whatever it is you're doing. So that is the sticker book. And that is everything. You guys, I think we got there. I'm so glad you stuck with me to the end. I really do appreciate it. But that is your look at the Erin Condren Life Planner launch. I am so jazzed. I cannot wait to get started. I'm not going to lie. I'm probably going to start playing in these planners and setting things up for summer as soon as humanly possible because I can't help myself. I just can't help myself. I'm so excited. Can't wait to dive right on in. I hope that you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you are shopping the new Erin Condren launch, what planner are you choosing? I will not be offended if it's not one of the ones pictured here, but I would love to hear what is your planner of choice for the 2022-2023 planner season. Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, it really does help me out if you give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to join the Deep in the Divine community, we would love to have you. Just click that little red subscribe button and you will be a member of our team. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, happy planning, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.